In a statement, Budiman said that Datuk Sri Azmin's visit clearly is a hypocritical action by the opposition, who all this while stated that the investment efforts done by federal government is something that will not benefit the country. Last week, Datuk Sri Azmin had attended the Guangdong Industrial and Financial Cooperation and Development Forum, where he also visited the headquarters of technology firm ZTE in Shenzhen. In his speech in the forum, Datuk Sri Azman said Selangor aims to be an active partner in China's expansion, in addition to promoting Port Klang as the key to strategic trade growth between the state and Guangdong. He also said that the Pulau Pinang government had also tried to acquire loans from China to fund development projects in China. The Prime Minister has initiated various efforts to bring in investors from China, from government to government, business to business, to people to people, including the recent May visit to China, which sees the amount of investment in Malaysia from China reaching more than 30 billion ringgit. He said the federal government's effort has also paved way for China's renowned company Alibaba Group to open its distribution hub in Sepang, which indirectly and directly benefits the Pakatan Harapan ruled state of Selangor, but instead it had turned around and accused the federal government of selling the country to China. Budiman reminded the Rakyat not to be fooled by the fancy economic and investment terms used by the opposition in attempts to distort the Rakyat's understanding and to compare their initiatives to the ones done by the federal government.